Hey everyone, this is QA Shahin, and today we are going to start looking at Jasmine. So, what are the particular topics for this video session? Well, we're going to look at what Jasmine is and how to set it up and how to install it. We're going to primarily look at what is Node.js and how Node.js relates to Jasmine. And then we're going to go through a quick demo of setting it up and running it locally. So first of all, what is Node.js and what is Jasmine? So Node.js is an open source framework that allows us to effectively write applications on either a server or network side in JavaScript. So in recent times, Node.js has picked up a lot of popularity and it is being used by a lot of big household names such as eBay, Microsoft and PayPal. There are many others. Node.js is essentially a platform which we develop against using JavaScript and as a result for anyone who is in the testing domain, it has become important to be able to write tests against a Node.js technology stack. And one such testing technology to use is Jasmine. Jasmine is essentially a testing framework which is designed to be very BDD-like. In other words, it is designed to be very English readable and very easy to use and it allows us to write both low level and high level of tests. So this whole video tutorial series will be predominantly around Jasmine and how to use Jasmine. So the first thing we're going to do is jump straight into it and we're going to download Node.js first because you need Node.js in order to be able to then use Jasmine and any other products which are associated with this Node.js technology stack. We're then going to write a basic test and run it. So first of all, we need to download Node.js. When we download Node.js, we get effectively a package manager as part of Node.js called NPM. And we'll look at this as we download Node.js. So let's do that first. Let's quickly download Node.js and get this up and running. So to download Node.js, just go to the nodejs.org site and when you're on the site you have the option of either downloading the latest version which may or may not have bugs or the most recent stable version which has been deemed to be most stable and mostly bug free so i am going to go with this lts version So my operating system is a Windows system. Therefore, when I download it, it was an EXE. When you actually go to the site, it should automatically recognize what is the operating system and what bit version you're running. And it should give you the appropriate download option. So in my case, it was simply a Windows EXE. So let's get started. So I'm going to open this up. And all I'm going to do is just apply the default options. So next, uh, yep. I'm going to make sure that add to path is selected. So next and just hit install. Okay. So it looks like it's been installed successfully and that's great. So hit finish. Let's open up a command window. In my case, I'm using git bash, although you can use the Windows command window. And if you now type in npm minus v, that should give you your current version of npm. Rather, if you do node minus v also, then that gives you the version of node. So this was the version we installed, as you can see here. When you install Node, you also automatically end up installing NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager. And it is this NPM that allows you to install other things, such as Jasmine. So like I said, Jasmine is an additional module or additional component that you can install as part of any Node application. So what we want to do now is install Jasmine. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is just make a directory which will hold all of our test projects. To do this, all I'm going to do is make a directory and I'm going to call it Jasmine project and let's cd into it and in here now i'm going to install jasmine using npm so to install a module using npm it's very straightforward you say npm space install and you have the option of providing two tags the first is minus g which makes the installation available globally and the other is minus say minus dev which only makes this particular module locally available for the moment, we're going to say minus G and we're going to say Jasmine. And that's it. It's now installed Jasmine. If you now do an npm list. This now lists all the modules that we have installed as part of npm. So as you can see, the only one we've installed is Jasmine, and it also gives us the version. It also tells us all the additional dependencies is installed as part of installing Jasmine. Okay, great. So now, if we just type in Jasmine, then you can see that it's tried to run some tests and it hasn't found anything. So believe it or not, this is the absolute minimum you have to do to actually get Jasmine up and running. This has now installed Jasmine and you've already started to try and run a test. Naturally, we don't have any tests because we haven't written any. But the whole idea is this is now Jasmine set up and running. So let's go ahead and actually write a basic test. So the first thing I'm going to do is say Jasmine in it. And what this does is this initializes this current project to be very Jasmine friendly. So notice that I did an ls here which was to list and there was nothing in the directory if i now do a list then it's created this specs folder now the way jasmine works is it looks for a spec folder and it is inside this folder that it expects to find all the tests so if we go to spec and do an ls here then this also has another folder which we will go into in a future video for the moment all we want to do is write our tests inside this particular folder so I did a PWD, which stands for print working directory. And all I'm going to do is start writing a test in here. So I won't take too long in this particular instance. So all I'm just going to say spec.test.js. Now, something to point out. Anytime Jasmine tries to run a test, it specifically looks for this string to be visible in a test file, spec.js. If this particular name doesn't exist as part of a file, then Jasmine will ignore it. So now let's start editing this file. So I'm going to be very, very simple in this, and I won't spend too much time trying to explain this as we will go through this in a lot more detail in a future video. But all I'm doing here is writing a very, very simple test just to get this running very quickly. And save that so now if I just go out one directory and as you can see I am now in my main directory again I'm in the root project directory if I do Jasmine again then it's saying that there's a syntax error so let's go in quickly and resolve that it looks like I missed out some braces if I just put one in here and then put one in there Quickly save this and run it again. Then now I can see that when Jasmine run it, it was able to find one spec and run it. And that's it. This is a super simple way of setting up Jasmine via NPM and then writing a very basic test and running it. And that's it, folks. That's all you have to do in order to 
set up Jasmine and then run a test. So in this particular video, we did a couple of things. We first of all quickly talked about what Node.js and Jasmine is. And then we installed Node.js as well as Jasmine. And then we wrote a very basic test, which we didn't really spend a long time talking about. We will do that in a future video because describing the test will certainly take a lot more time than the installation process itself. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video. I will see you in the next one.